what's up cuties thank you guys so much for joining me for this video join me as i discuss hot topics reality tv celebrity news and more the views that i express are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged welcome to chit chat with qt with cutie that's what they said yep chit chat with cutie was killing chit chat with qt for all of this tea what's up cuties happy hump day to you guys thank you for joining me for this video you guys know that everything that i discuss are my own personal opinions for entertainment purposes only and everything is alleged now while you are here Please make sure that you hit that like button, hit the notification bell. That way you will know when I drop future videos or when I go live. Make sure that you are subscribed. Check and make sure YouTube has been tripping. And also make sure to share my video with your friends and family. Now look, hell must have frozen over. Do you hear me? Because I agree with Messy Earth Wanda. And you guys know that's what I call Messy Wanda because she is messy. But look, with what was revealed this week, it brought up emotions in women that got some type of sense. Okay? Even if it's part-time. I don't know. But Wanda came out and laid Cole Slaw's ass out as well as Martell Holt. Now, we had a cutie crew members only live last night. And I want to say again that prayers are still going up for the sisters that shared their stories of their trauma from this damn video. Women were crying. I had a sister that had to leave the live once she shared her story because not only did she go through it, but her daughters as well. And Ariane Curry, your ass have opened up a whole new can of worms. And we all knew, a lot of us, that your day will be coming. But now, when it does come, you not gonna know who gonna approach you. And we cannot and will not forget that this all stemmed from Martell Holt, but there are thousands of women and men that look. They looking for you. That's all I got to say. Now, you guys know for the sake of this video, I do not condone violence. But your ignorance has reopened wounds. Your ignorance in taking joy in repeating some shit that you don't know is true or false has activated a lot of emotions in a lot of people and not in a good way. And it looks like one of those people is Wanda, okay? Bessima Wanda. And Wanda's ready to put them paws on AC as well. Now, I watch Wanda's live and like I said, hell has frozen over because I had to agree with her. Now, Wanda, for me, it shouldn't have taken this for you to speak on the other things that you spoke on. As far as Coleslaw being a sad chick, as far as the damage that she's done to male and male's children and all of that. But I tip my head off to you on this one, Wanda, because everybody should be outraged. So I respect Wanda for coming out and speaking her piece and giving Martell and Cole Slaw a, a piece of her man child. Now, you know, Wanda was saying Mel's golden nuggets. I think that's what she was saying that Martell has shared with this bird. And I've always said this. I would love to be in Ariane Curry's presence. I really really would and you know use your imagination but when you don't have a care for anything 
other than yourself and Martell Holt, um, yeah, something needs to happen to this girl. Um, very, very reckless. Like clockwork, she brought her ass right on out. Went live on TikTok a couple times. It don't matter what it is. As long as people are talking about her, good or bad, even if it's in this disgusting manner, something in this girl gets joy and she want to go live and she want to show her face and she want to say nothing happened to me. I'm going to say yet. Okay. Yet. Now there are local people right there in Huntsville that are enraged. I had a couple sisters that spoke out that live right there near Miss Ariane Curry and Martell Holt. So it seems like to me, this girl is willing to hide in the house, go to the store with security. Uh, even if she isn't, she's going to need it. Because as I mentioned, you made light of, fun of, abuse. And it's absolutely disgusting. Um, Wanda, I will say this. As I said, I respect what you had to say when it comes to this matter. But a lot of us, Wanda, have not forgotten about the things that you had to say when it comes to sugar mama. As well as you being shady towards Mel's kids' hair. And for that, you will never get my 100% respect. I'm just sorry. Because you pushed that narrative. You just talked about it recently when Martell, because he just ain't shit, had the nerve to say what he said on Tasha K. And you came right out and said, well, see, that's where I got it from. Look, just like we are outraged over this, no matter where you got it from, because we got this from somewhere. And people aren't coming out and saying it. So hopefully, Wanda, you'll clear that up in the near future. But you did let me know that you are a woman with a heart. Now, I don't know if you went through this in your time or if somebody in your family may have gone through this, but a lot of us were triggered whether we went through it or not. But this is my thing. And Wanda, we know you ride for your daughter but it's time for your daughter to ride for your ass. Now, I know Wanda can handle things. I'm going to give her that. I think Wanda can go. I think back in the day, Wanda was, what do they call them, a whippersnapper or whatever. I think Wanda was out in them best of the streets. So I believe Wanda when she say, if she put them paws on coleslaw, she would hurt her. But when it comes to what coleslaw had to say about Wanda, Tisha, it's time for you to step for your mama. But let me go ahead and read you guys what this bird had to say. Miss Ugly Ass, 24 Piece Wanda. First off, all Wanda, I don't know what she's saying there. You might want to keep my name out your mouth before I reveal some things about your dumb ass and your daughter, since you think I'm talking. Now, I ain't said shit about you or thought about you, but clearly you got me on your mind. Wasn't you just begging to be on my live? I see why they blocked you from filming. And to think I had your love built wide ass back when they had meetings to get you kicked off the show. Let me stop right there. How you have somebody back? You not on the show. This girl is straight delusional. Maybe you felt like she shouldn't have been out the show, but what decisions did you make that made other people feel like you had Wanda's back? Were you a part of the cast meetings? No. But anyway, she said she had Wanda's wide ass back. Then, Tisha, make sure you listen to this. She said, bitch, worry about that food truck. Tisha... She called your mama a bitch. She said, keep my name out your mouth. You don't know what she did and said about my child. Let me go ahead and stop you right there, Ariane Curry. Your ass don't know either. 
because anything that you are told, you're getting it from Martell Ho. Okay? So unless you can come out here and play some audio of Mel saying something about your kid, then you don't know what she said either. Have your own mind. You are a straight up embarrassment. I've never seen somebody that's just been gone, gone. And that's what she is. This girl is gone over Martell Hope. No matter what this man say, she takes it and runs with it as it's facts. But the shit that he said about her raggedy ass, she ain't took that. He said she was a peasant. She okay with that. He said she was 15%. She okay with that. He said he would have never left his wife. She okay with that. She ain't saying much about that. She don't want to believe that. But any goddamn thing that he tell her about Mel, she believe it. And she run with it. Um, the girl is cuckoo. And day by day, year by year, for all of us that's been following this mess for years, um, she gone. And it's sad. There's nothing a woman like about Ariane Curry. Nothing. And she's a mother. No compassion. No, let me think before I say this. No, nothing. If Martell said it, it's the truth. Uh, child, look, there ain't no drugs, alcohol, or anything else that I've seen as strong as the delusion that Ariane Curry is experiencing over a man. Again, a mother to a daughter. This what you gonna teach her? Girl. But anyway... She said, these are facts. I'm going to stand behind mine. That's why you will not ever be filming again. Can you let us know when you're going to film? Can you, Ariane Curry? You know, that's another thing that she's obsessed with. Love and marriage Huntsville. This girl is sitting back talking like she is an actual cast member of the show. You worrying about if Wanda gonna film again. And we've seen Wanda on our screen. We've seen it as a castmate getting paid. But here you go like you calling some shots. How do you know if she will ever film again and again? Let us know when you gonna film. Can you do that? You made Love and Marriage Huntsville. You made Melody Cherie. You made every damn thing when it comes to whatever has gone on on this show. When are they going to tell you lights, camera, action? Please let us know. But Tisha, this is where I'm going to need you to come on in again. She said, bitch, step. Did you think this was going to help you get back on the show? Laughing my ass off. Again, guys, that is what you call straight brainwashed straight up delusion did you think this was gonna help you get on the show or back on the show and chick we want to know the shit that you saying and doing and has been doing for years do you think that's gonna get you on the show you seem to think that there is a place on love and marriage Huntsville for you and the creator is Melody Cherie Rogers, the woman whose husband you slept with and continues to, even though he's now ex-husband, you slept with him all that damn time, thinking you were going to be on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It's the audacity for me. You got words of advice for Wanda, but you ain't got none for your damn self. It is the audacity for me. But Wanda, like I said, you right there. Black is in Huntsville. Your daughter is in Huntsville. And this is the problem. Ain't nobody stepped to this chick. Because see, it's some folks, I ain't going to call no names, that would be sitting outside the house for hours. Bring your happy ass out and go ahead and go to Trader Joe's. Or go ahead and go to H&M. Or go ahead and drive over to Martell House. Go ahead. It's some of them that step like that. 
And this is the problem. This girl thinks she's untouchable, no matter what she says or does. And we know karma has continued to spin the block on her and will continue. But she ain't seen nothing yet. And it's time for some men to step up. Some of them have, shout out to the content creators. But it's time for men to be outraged at Mr. Martell Holt. Now, I'm going live later because Mr. Man had the audacity to show support on a post on Instagram, and I'm puzzled. I'm really puzzled. And I'm also going live later on today to say what up, though, to Carlos King. See, Carlos, you out here interviewing everybody and focusing on everything. And as a man, as the self-titled creator of Love and Marriage Huntsville, only because you changed a few things, but we know Mel is the creator. But as the self-titled creator of Love and Marriage Huntsville, it's time for your ass to sit down and interview Martel Holt right there on your YouTube channel. And it's time because see, you're a blogger, okay? And bloggers talk about what's going on out in these streets. So we tired of you playing in our face. We really are. You are consumed with everything else and want to act like all of this that's been going on for years has not been going on. And we tired of it, for real. So I will discuss more of that a little later. Um, kudos to Messy Earth Wanda. Like I said, Wanda, I'm going to give you a little points. But I ain't forgot about you running a, a, across a parking lot over something that you started. And the only reason why Mel approached you at that re-re-re-relaunching at Madani is because of what I mentioned. You were talking about her kids. So, look, right is right and wrong is wrong. Hopefully, one day, Wanda, you will come out and issue a real apology. We know we got a semi-apology when it comes to that, and not we, because I don't need your apology, but you gave Mel a semi-apology. Well, Wanda, that's why people have been outraged with you. But I must respect you on this. Because this is, that was too, gutter. Keep children out of it and keep trauma out of it. And like I said, this girl has opened up a can of whoop ass that I know she ain't going to be able to handle. That's you, Ariane Curry. Because that shit was planned. That shit was planned. You wasn't shocked at what was said to you in that audio. And Martell Holt again, um, sir, your future, your future, uh, it looks very, very grim and dim. And for you to sit back and still be active on social media with all of this going on, it's crazy to me. Like and post and all of that, it is crazy to me. But guess what? Birds of a feather flock together. Martell is crazy. Cold slaw crazy. Anybody that got enjoyment out of that trauma that got women crying. Crying. It's crazy. So join me live later, guys. I just wanted to come to you guys on my quick little break at work. But join me live later so we can discuss. I have more when it comes to Carlos King. Birds of a feather is flocking together when it comes to him as well. He and Dr. Heavenly. So yeah, join me a little bit later, guys. And before you go, please make sure to drop down in the comments. Let's chit chat about it. Please also make sure to pay close attention to the guidelines. If there are words that is spelled out as far as profanity and all of that, um, I will have to remove your comments. So I get that this is very upsetting. But please, for the sake of the video and the channel, change the wording around. I promise you guys, we will know what you're talking about. So drop down. Give me your thoughts on Messy Earth Wanda. Is this one of the only times that you've agreed with her? Or do you think that Wanda got something else up her sleeve? Drop down. Let me know, guys. Also, before you go, please make sure to like the video. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon.
Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT. Chit chat.